Okay? Give me a J. Give me an E. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an S. What does that spell? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I praised you one time. I think I left the end. He was in a church. He said, as many times as I spelled the name Jesus. I forgot how to spell it. So let's do it one more time. Do it from the heart. Give me a J. Give me an E. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an S. What does that spell? Praise the Lord. Mary Talman Lester can finish up. This, I love this group right here. Gospel Grass Trio. Make them welcome. So most people that uh, know me well know that uh, I love old stuff. Kind of old fashioned. And uh, back in uh, back in the winter time, we couldn't uh, uh, get out much. You know how cold it was. So we decided to go to the library. And I got some books. They were actually in the juvenile section, but they changed our lives. They were Little House on the Prairie books. Everybody know Little House on the Prairie? I got hooked. And so I started asking for chickens, and I wanted a garden, and I wanted all this stuff. So we decided that we would start homesteading. How many knows what homesteading is? We're tired. <laughs> But uh, we got a bunch of chickens, and uh, we plowed up a bunch of our yard, and uh, uh, I've been doing my laundry by hand with a washboard. I haven't used my wash and dryer in quite a while, but uh, I love the old way of doing things. And I encourage you, my mom made me a sign the other day, and I put it up in my house, and it said, life is better with chickens. <laughs> if you don't have chickens, I encourage you to get you some chickens. They'll change your life forever. And those eggs that we ate today, top of the line. It sure is good to be back here. And uh, kind of going with the old, uh, the old way and the way I like the old fashioned stuff, I like the old songs. And we're going to sing some real old songs for you today. So you all just pray for us. I don't know if we're ready yet. I'm a little loud. You hear my mandolin? How many people here have chickens? Wow. Got two of them. <laughs> Get you some chickens. Come on now. Y'all ever heard the rooster when it first tries to crow? When it's about three months old? I went out to uh, let the chickens out the other day and our rooster plucked. He went, Err. I, I said I'd give up if that's the best I had. And he 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 croaked since, so I think he he realized he wasn't ready yet. <laughs> there we go. Sounds good. Y'all pray for us today, and we'll try to sing us sing a few songs. Is a, this is a real old song that I heard when I was just a little girl. Most of the songs I'm going to sing today I heard when I was a little girl. They bring back so many memories to me. And uh, this is one of them. And you know, the same Jesus that we read about in the Bible, He's still here today. He's moving among the crowd today. So listen to the words of this song. When Jesus passed by the day would arise. Those 
those who were blind, he opened their eyes. The lepers were cleaned, the dumb made to talk. The lame and the crippled, they would rise up and walk. And he's still passing by. A woman one day She had an issue of blood The Bible did say Oh, she spent all she had This happened so many times So the story is told I love this part But when she touched his garment She was made whole one night on my knees at an altar of praying. I'm so thankful. Oh, Jesus passed by and he rescued me then. I called on his name while he was nigh. And what a wonderful change since my Jesus passed by and he's still passing by he's still passing by he's still passing by he still extends mercy today my sins all away. This is a real old song too. This is a song that, uh, it's not real, real old. And I like to say it's old to me because I'm not old. But I can't say that for much longer. I'm, I'm starting to get in age. People start to notice I'm getting older. But uh, I heard this when I was a kid. And uh, this song touched me so much the first time I heard it. I was just a kid. But I thought, wow, my life is worth living. And there was a time when my life was worth living to me. But there, there's a point when you come to realize that Jesus Christ is the reason your life is worth living. Your life ain't worth living because of, of the house you live in, or the car that you drive, or the other material things you might accumulate, which can all be gone in a second. Your life is worth living because you've been promised eternity in heaven with Jesus Christ. And that's what this song is about. He made my life worth living. When I met him one day in an old bathroom stall, Right in one split second, life wasn't worth living. And in the next, it was worth living. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful because I wasn't worth it. But he saw different. He saw different. Listen to the words of this beautiful song. You'll probably know most of the songs we sing today. Sing along with us. I love to hear everybody else sing along with us. God sent his son, they call him Jesus, he came to love 
heal and forgive. He bled and died, I know he did, to buy my pardon. And an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. And I find life's fine No war with pain And then as death It gives away to victory I'll see the lights of glory And I know He reigns Because He My favorite part of the song says, I'm going to be like a bird that's let out of prison. So y'all sing along with us. This song really means a lot to me. It says, I'll fly away. Well, some black and boarding when this life is over, I fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. Oh, I
can't even remember what we sing. Like I got this song, we ain't done this in probably a year or so. We'll try to sing. <laughs> oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world's thine hands have. I see the storms, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with his shouts of acclamation. He's gonna take us home. Oh, what joy shall fill my heart. And then I will bow in humble adoration. And there proclaim, My God, how great thou art. That seems I used to question, I'm like, well, why would, why would Jesus leave, or why would he come here and go through all that? I mean, you know, people are always the, the best, you know. <laughs> but he had, a, he had a, 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 an ultimate plan. And if you were like me before you become a Christian, or if you're here and you're not a Christian, you question being uh, worthy to uh, uh, receive salvation. I didn't think I was worthy. I didn't think I could just say forgive me and it would happen because I went so far. But you know, this song reminds us why He did it. He loved us and He loves us still. And if you're here and you're lost, He really, really wants you in the fold. And I can tell you from experience, you leave that old life behind and come to this life. There's no comparison. It's the best life you'll ever live. It's the one you live in Christ. But this song, I love it. It touches me so much because it tells us why. Why did you do what he did? Yeah, underwater. Don't ever believe them. They say one size fits all. They give you the same kind of breath. They give you a chemical.
Savior away, they placed him in a borrowed grave, and I'm sure that they thought this will be the end of this man. He was more than a man, though. But on that third and glorious day, oh God came and rolled that great big stone away, and he rose from. <laughs> there is no greater love by mortal man has ever been known. Oh, I praise his dear name. He loved me so. Now I am his. He's mine. I know that he suffered it all. Pray that we sung a song or said a word that might touch you. You know, uh, it's not, and we were talking about this backstage, it's, it's, it's always nerve-wracking to get up and sing or do anything for the Lord like that. I says, if it gets to where you don't get nervous and you're just like, whatever, if I were to do something else, I get nervous. When I stand up here and sing songs, I'm, I'm bringing a message about Jesus Christ and how much He loves you and how much He loved me. Oh, that other group, I don't think she And that's a scary thing to do. I mean, she hasn't been singing since so long. But if it touches one person, if you hear a word and you're like, oh, that made a difference for me, then it's it's worth all the nerves and all that okay. different stuff to get up and sing a song. and give Josh the other one. Josh, here's your orange. No. I'm gonna go in the corner of the
state you're from. Amen. And uh, we're just glad to see everyone. I want to remind you that across the road at the restaurant, they always have a really good buffet lunch over there. And so if you're hungry, you can go in and take advantage of that. And we just appreciate everything that you all do here for the park. And we appreciate what the park does for this thing. Been here a long, long, long time here at the Breaks Park, and we hope to be here a lot longer. Amen. Uh, we got uh, Stephen getting ready to come up while they're getting ready. I heard a little story the other day that I'm going to pass along to y'all. Y'all like to hear a little story? Amen. Well, this, uh, oops, sorry. There was, they were, there was a lady that sadly passed away and they had her funeral service and after all the service was over, the pole bearers took up the coffin and was taking her out uh, to, the, to bury her. And on their way out, they accidentally hit the wall with the coffin. And when they hit the wall, they heard a moan from inside the coffin and they opened up the coffin and the woman was alive. And by the grace of God, she lived another 10 years. And then she passed away. And they went back and had another funeral service 
And at the end of the service, when the pole buyers took her up and was carrying her out, her husband said, be careful about the walls. <laughs> I thought y'all would appreciate that. <laughs> anyway, we want, to, we want to remind you now uh, about uh, the prayer basket. I got that already. And, uh, oh yeah, stay hydrated. I guess that's what that is. Yeah. Stay, drink plenty of water, amen? It is getting kind of hot, but the heat up here don't feel as bad, does it? I don't know about you all, but it don't feel bad to me. And so uh, we just invite you to worship the Lord. Y'all about ready to go? I think we are. All right, folks, listen, this is our host group. We appreciate what uh, Brother Lester and Sister are willing to do. I appreciate what they do all year long to make this thing possible. Make welcome our host group with the Great Gospel Saints stepping out on faith. Check one, test one, two. Lester over here, we'll get ready, we'll sing a couple, and uh, got some great singers coming up uh, for the afternoon, and I know you're going to enjoy them. The group that used to come here, uh, Living Waters Trio, they sang a song that I just absolutely loved. And uh, I called to Beth and asked her if it's okay if we sing this song. She said, Lord, yes, please do. So we'll sing one that they used to sing. Well, there might have been a moment when he looked at that old Roman soldier. With that old rugged cross on his shoulder That soldier knew every word that he spoke was the truth But something in his heart told him it's not up to you see all these folks and all the faces that we see year after year and of course you know there's some that's gone and uh, last year how many of y'all was here last year you remember my son streaming for my dad back home 
He was sick and bad off. Uh, the Lord called him home on September the 18th of last year. He got to watch the break. He had such a good time. Uh, the Sunday before he passed away on a Monday, uh, we got to stream the church service from up in church. And we had two or three saved up there and baptized them. When I went up there to see him after church, he was just crying and boo hoo in heaven. Such a good time because of you know, people being saved and everything like that. But you know, I, I, I haven't lost him because I know where he's at. You know, and when you plant a seed in the ground, it's going to come up one of these days. They planted the old shell that he was in one of these days when the Lord calls. That body's going to come up out of the ground. Amen. Resurrected in the newness of life. I'm going to give a little testimony here. I don't mean it. If I get too long, y'all tell me to be quiet, okay? But see, my dad... Bless him, Lord. My dad was an alcoholic for 21 years. He would smoke three to four packs of cigarettes a day, and he would drink beer like most people drink a job. Or work a job. He wouldn't start drinking until 5 o'clock in the evening. He'd put his beer in the refrigerator at 2 o'clock every day, and he would not open it a minute before or a minute after 5. 5 o'clock right on the dock. He'd done that every day, a half a case to a case of beer for 21 years. And... Uh, the Lord done like Samson done. He set the field to fire in my family. And me and Ronnie was in the baptistry for about, what, two months, Ronnie? Yeah. Baptizing the family and everything. Last time my little niece got saved, come home to tell my dad about it. And I was talking to him. I said, Dad, you need to come to church. And he got real hateful and said, Son, the Lord ain't dealt with me in years. And the Lord just spoke and I said, Dad, God is a gentleman. I said, He's not going to come up here and knock on your door and say, can I come in? I said, you have to show him that you're concerned about yourself and where you're at. Guess who showed up on Wednesday night at church? Praise the Lord. He wouldn't come on Sunday morning. He wouldn't come on Sunday night. But every Wednesday night for a month, he showed up. One, one I was late getting to church on a Wednesday night. My dad was sitting three rows from the front. I said, well, let's go. And the sister in our church was up singing a song and my dad just got up and went to the altar. Amen. Went and gave his life to the Lord. Amen. See, that's what God can do. I don't know if you're here today and you've got an excuse because you've got to do this. You got to. You can't straighten it out on your own, folks. Amen. You give it to Him and He'll take care of it. Amen. Because Amen? Amen. He can do that. He's a way maker, folks. He'll set you free. He said, I come to set the captives free and He's done that. How many of y'all once upon a time was captive under something? Amen. Sure. And you got set free. Well, I'm glad today that I'm free and I'm free indeed. But anyway, Dad got saved and he went home that night and folks and he poured out a case of beer and he threw away a carton of cigarettes. And for 17 years, he never touched a drop of nothing or spoke Praise a cigarette until the Lord until took him home. Amen. Amen. My dad, he told me he had grandchildren at that time, and some of them were young, some of them were a little older. And he said, My grandkids, all they've known of is an alcoholic and a drunk. All my life, he said, I'm going to do my best to show them that there's a better way. Amen. And he left a, he left a legacy for our family, family to follow by on that today. So if you're here today and you're lost, if you're going through something, don't fight with it, don't argue with it. Come down here and give it to the Lord, or where you're sitting at, just give it up to Him. Amen. Praise God. It's good to be here today. I'll try to be quiet. I thank the Lord. And Brother Ed Hickman, I don't know if any of y'all know Brother Ed Hickman. I don't know if Ronnie does. Well, his mother passed away this morning, this gentleman was just telling me. And we'll have a word of prayer for him and his family here just in a minute, okay? But we're going to sing you a few more songs. But today, if the Lord's dealing with your heart at any time, you hunt out one of these preachers. You don't have to come down here. You can go over there and talk to Ronnie or whoever. Hey, Amen. Hunt one of them out. Let them come and talk to you. We can see the fellow say right up there one day at that tent. The fellow about 6'3". But broke down and he wasn't that tall the time the Lord got through dealing with him up there. Amen. He was almost on the ground being over a crime. God can save you, folks. You all pray for us. We won't be in your presence very long. Friends, don't worry about this 
is heavy, Lord, I carry no peace. Brings me to my knees, for I know a place where all my Lord will like. Well, I'll be all right as soon as I get to Calvary. If he slipped his nails for him into my hand, I'll be all right. I Very soon I'll reach that hill called Golgotha. Touch the old cross, passion from a tree. And if just one drop of his precious blood touched me, well, I'll be all right as soon as I could count. Hello, Danny Van Hoos. How are you, my friend? It's good to see you. Thank you, mate. Praise the Lord. We look a little different today. Usually, Phil Ramey is with us. Uh, he's been with us for, I don't know, 15, 16 years. But uh, he is... He pastors a church, and he's got a little girl that's about seven years old that is just uh, a singing machine. We was hoping that she'd be able to come up and sing some for us this weekend, but she's not been uh, not going to be able to. I think she had something else going on. But anyway, uh, we miss Brother Philip, but this is Justin LeMaster. Uh, woo, there you go. <laughs> uh, from over in Fort Gate, West Virginia. Do we have any West Virginia people here tonight? Yes! Yeah, there we go. I'm the family. Holy Ghost struck over there. <laughs> but, uh, Praise the Lord. That's right. Anyway, we're tickled to have Justin with us. We're going to ask him to sing one. Check, check, check. Go back home again. 
they've been I've got good news for you When heaven comes in to you Just one glimpse and then you'll see The best is yet to come Some call it heaven I call it home Some call it dreaming Let me dream on call it paradise Somewhere beyond the sky Some call it heaven I call it home Some call it heaven I call it home Sing, and I figured we had already heard it this morning. Um, it's uh, All My Hope is in Jesus, and uh, that's where all my hope land it stays. I don't want to put my hope in anything in this world because I know this 